Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Smart Bones in Anime Studio Pro. Tutorial. Smart Bones are another way to save animations and reuse them. Uh, in the past we have made uh, several tutorials uh, for things like actions, regular actions and blend morphs, which you can also use for saving animations. But now we are going to focus on smart bones and smart, bo smart bones are my personal favorite and I will show you uh, why in this tutorial. So what I want to do, I have my main character here on screen and I want to give him both a angry look and a sad look with his eyebrows and that's one uh, thing that I like about uh, smart bones you can use with one smart bone you can make two different uh, animations now before I start to make uh, the smart bone I will add something on the eyebrow layer I take the eyedropper tool and uh, I see already that we have selected the color of the skin and I take the draw shape tool and I select auto fill and deselect auto stroke and I choose rectangle and I draw a object right here which will be invisible because it's the skin color without a stroke and then I will add a point right here and then finally I will select the eyebrow I go edit and cut and then edit and paste so that it is above this shape right here and then what I do I go to the bone layer because we need to have a bone layer in order to create smart bones and I take the add bone tool and make sure you're not connected to any bone and I just draw a little bone right here like this and then I take the bone strength tool and if I hold my mouse and move to the left I reduce the strength of the bone so then I'm going to give it a name I take the select bone tool and I name it right here I'll name it angry sad because I want to give him both a angry look and a sad look so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bone and I click on make smart bone dial and then this uh, appears right here and you see it's the same name as uh, the bone that is correct and right here you can change the angles but uh, I will leave it uh, like it is and you see now uh, a angle uh, is under the bone and what you also see is that we're on the timeline has become blue we're on a different timeline right now and you see we have two actions uh, right here um, one on one action uh, if you move the bone uh, if you move to the timeline you see the bone is moving to the left and on the other action it is moving to the right so now you can put different uh, any type of animation on uh, this action and it will be inside the movement of the bone so let's start right here at the first action I won't, I won't put it on frame 100 I will put it on frame 12 for this but you can choose any other frame that you like so I go to uh, the eyebrow layer right here and we start with the angry look so I'm going to give it a angry look right here and this is why we uh, created this shape so I can put it right here now he has an angry look now if you would go through the timeline you see it's not going the way we want we need to change some things about it and this is why I also like the smart bone uh, smart bone so much because you can change uh, anything in between the keyframe which you can't do uh, with for instance blend morphs because then you have to put everything on frame one but let's do that right now
There we go, if we would play. So now it looks like this. So now we have given him an angry look. Now, if, let's see. Uh, as you can see, the bone is now moved to the left on frame 12 and we have animated the eyebrows within uh, frame 0 and frame 12. If we go back to the main line and we select the bone right here and you move this bone to the left, you see it now gets an angry look. And you can do, uh, of course, make a second action uh, where we, you can give him a sad look. And I will put it also right here on frame 12. Doesn't really matter. But I will put... Oh, wrong tool. Transform points tool. I take this. I take these points and I'll just... like this and then go back to the oh make sure the bonus yeah everything is good so now if you go back to the main line and you move him to the right you see it gets this look so here it is angry and then sad so that's the smart bone uh, that's how you can use smart bones and it's a very helpful tool to save any form of animations so uh, there you go, uh, that's how you use smart bones. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. And anyway, thanks for watching. I hope to see you all in the next video. If you like this video and you want to see more, then please subscribe to this channel. I put new tutorials every week on Wednesday. I also make animations myself. I will upload them within one or two months. So if you're interested, you can watch those too. Thanks for watching guys and I hope to see you all in the next video.